All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we got a short one where I just wanted to test out something in regards to the Terra Blade. This is in response to something that our good friend Gungnir was wondering about in his most recent video, which was part of his uh, melee only let's play that he's doing. But the basis of the video was that it was focused at least partially on the Terra Blade and the nerf that the Terra Blade received which was that it got a 25% reduction in attack speed effectiveness. That doesn't make any sense. Attack speed boosting effects are 25% less effective on the Terra Blade now. That is what happened. Because I guess that attack speed builds were just a little bit too strong. I didn't actually do any of my own testing on this beforehand because I didn't get around to it. But I had heard rumors even within my own comments on the one video featuring the Terra Blade that I did make that said, hey, you know, you could do a lot more damage or, you know, some more damage if you build full attack speed. And apparently this was so effective that it got nerfed <laughs> because Relogic is like, hey, we got to stop that. That's too powerful. So the question posed, which I took as a request. I'm very curious um, as to what is more effective now like menacing over over violent and like melee speed i don't know that i'm not sure what would be better I, I never checked menacing versus violent before so i don't know what that gap was like before and, and which one is better even i didn't really try this is in regards to modifiers that you put on your accessories in general being violent which gives you more attack speed versus menacing which gives you more straight damage and the question is which does more flat damage and so i figured i would make a little video on this because uh i have the means these are definitely not ill-gotten gains and these uh three item sets that you can see in my inventory as well as these extra ones just chilling up here are also definitely not um ill-gotten gains I don't have a world with all the items in it that I get all of this from. But basically, I have three duplicate item sets. One that is modified all with the violent uh, modifier, which gives you extra attack speed, which is what was supposed to be nerfed. One with menacing, which gives you flat damage. And then one, which I just figured I would test out, that is modified with lucky, which gives you extra crit chance, because I was like, I don't know, this is gonna be a short video anyways. Why not test out another set of items with a different modifier that could potentially be effective? I also have these glove items, which all give you extra attack speed, which I'm gonna be inter interchanging with the violent set to see if this actually has more damage than it does or any of the other sets. We got some buffs here that I'm gonna be testing out, which is Rage Potions, Wrath Potions, Ale, which gives you extra melee capabilities, and Apple Pie, which gives you the Exquisitely Stuffed buff, which also gives you extra melee capabilities, as well as just general uh, stat buffs. This seemed like a fun little thing to do to give me a bit of a break from the longer scripted videos that I've been doing, or not really give me a break, but let me get ahead a little, a little bit since I have one in the works on a different topic, and I was like, hey, this might be fun. So we have a lone dummy here, which should be all that we need. I'm actually gonna wait until nighttime comes around because we do have the celestial shell in our inventory and just to get the maximum damage possible because as you can see, this is like a super min-maxed uh, sort of end game setup that I have just to, just to test what I think is probably about the maximum amount of damage you can possibly get in the game in a melee setup here. And we get an extra 5.1% damage and melee speed at night when we turn into werewolf form with a celestial shell. So, you know, I'll just cut the video and be right back. All right, we have entered nighttime and I am now werewolf. We should have everything that we need for testing here. We're gonna test out the violent set first. Uh, and we're just gonna take a look at all of these different setups and see if there's any large discrepancies in damage, just to see if there's any that are clearly more effective than the others with the new changes, which I think the general consensus was that the attack speed builds were the most effective beforehand, and now they're, you know, not supposed to be. That was the point of the change. Starting with just the violent set, uh, let's just stand back a little bit and Take a look at this. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be that. I don't know why it just boosted up to 3,200 damage for a second there, but you know, it looks like we're getting in the range generally of 27 to 3,000 damage, kinda. 
that should be about right so that's fairly high i again i don't have anything to compare this to i didn't do flat damage tests with a terra blade um before this which i wish i would have done so that i could have actually you know done a comparison but i di didn't and i i don't know if you can get into previous versions of terraria to do that so i can't do that currently let's check out the attack speed like full attack speed build which i think this should be it we remove these you know damage items and replace them with just full attack speed items which all of this should have a like huge reduction overall in the damage because every single attack speed buff here this is like all of these are like 16 percent attack speed all of these glove items have four percent taken off of them which is like 20 percent attack speed reduction just right there and then obviously the overall attack speed buffs which i'm pretty sure it applies to everything so the attack speed buffs from the celestial shell and from our buffs are also going to be reduced i gotta put this ale back on but um this still looks crazy that started off at really high damage. I mean, it seems around the same, right? It's getting a little bit lower than it looks like the straight up violent set was. Maybe not. Maybe it's actually higher damage still than the violent set if you just build full, full attack speed. I mean, honestly, this the, the, the top damage here is more effective, which I feel like that's kind of sad that using all of these just repetitive melee speed weapons can do more damage than but it's supposed to be the stronger items, in my opinion. Like, you're supposed to use, like, one or two of these items, like, stack them, and then you're supposed to use these. That's how I generally see it. But no, terribly, you can just go maximum attack speed, and it, it just, it works wonders, bro. We just got up to, like, 3,400 damage for a second there. That's crazy. That's definitely been nerfed. It would be doing just significantly more beforehand, but now it is not, so at least that's a thing. Let's put these back on so I can actually switch out the other sets correctly let's try our menacing set now we've got flat damage in the house that's less damage that is less damage than the full attack speed i don't know why it's so low it seems like it should be a little higher but like it's getting up there right 3200 damage is hitting it hit 3300 so maybe it's kind of balanced it kind of feels like the full attack speed was more consistent with the higher damage numbers than menacing was that's just what it appears though I, it's kind of hard to actually come up with like solid average numbers for this finally let's test our lucky set and just go with that let's refresh our ale buff because it only lasts for two minutes because of course it does I guess because it's a debuff, they don't want a quote-unquote debuff to last too long. Lucky set, um, why does this look like it's doing more damage than anything? <laughs> like, consistently more. That stayed at 3,000 for way longer than anything else did. Is Lucky just better than Menacing? I don't know if it's better than the attack speed items, but this just looks better than Menacing. That's the conclusion I'm reaching, at least. I would generally say that you don't want to go crit on, um, melee builds because it's not as effective as like on ranged builds and the melee items are more built for attack speed regardless but like this is actually doing a lot and it's not going down to like the lows that i think we saw with menacing and violent where it goes down to like 2400 it's just not going down there i did this kind of as just like a joke add-on but this actually seems significant like it it's actually working well that's kind of weird i i think that i can say that menacing seems to be the least effective um lucky might be the best one out of them the damage that i saw with lucky seemed to be very consistent but from that first run around it seems like uh the ranking to me anyways is lucky full attack speed full um like i guess hybrid where you go with the damage items but built all of them with violent and then menacing seems to be at the bottom which is kind of sad sad for menacing as far as the terra blade goes that's what i've reached if that's not what you saw let me know you know i'm just human i might have seen something wrong you know brain fuzzy and stupid <laughs> and stuff you know i mean that's kind of cool honestly i hadn't tested the full melee speed capabilities of the terra blade either and just seeing it swing that fast is kind of fun i really like that but i think that's going to be all for this video i did what i came to do hopefully you enjoyed and uh you know got something useful out of this and i shall see you in the next one